Hi, this is Dr. Jason Coleman. I'd like to thank you for watching this short video. Today we're going to answer a common question that we hear in the office and also in my first aid classes. And the question is, when do I use ice? When do I use heat? So, just to make it real simple, if we have an acute injury like an acute sprain or strain of the ligaments, muscles, or tendons, we want to use ice within the first 48 to 72 hours. That's called the active swelling phase. So we're going to break out our little uh, cold packs from our freezers and apply the ice. Now, the way you want to apply the ice is you're going to drape it maybe with a thin t-shirt thickness in between the ice pack and your skin. We never want to apply ice directly to the skin. There can be some tissue damage there if it's left on too long. So we apply the ice for about 15 to 20 minutes. We may do that several times during the day to uh, minimize the amount of swelling in the area, but also it's going to act as an analgesic. So unfortunately, people do not like to use ice because it's cold. But if you just remember this, when you apply the ice, you'll feel cold, you'll get some intense burning, achiness, and then you'll get to the analgesic effect. So you have to go through all those bad stages before you get to the numbness stage. That's what we're after. Now, after the first 48 to 72 hours, we have what we call the passive congestive phase. So we have extra fluid in the area, and for example, the way you can tell it's in the passive congestive phase is if, for example, you have a sprained ankle, and all of a sudden that bruise turns green, yellow, that's passive congestive phase. There's no more active swelling. So at this particular point, probably be a good idea to use moist heat in the area. Now, a lot of the heating pads that are out there, they'll say right on the box, produces moist heat. There might be a little felt pad that you wet and you put inside the uh, heat pack. That will provide moist heat. It penetrates the tissues a little bit deeper. Now, you have to be careful with the moist heat, too, because you can burn the skin. So, again, make sure you're monitoring yourself or whoever you're administering this to. And if they have any uh, condition where they've lost sensitivity to cold or heat, please consult your chiropractor or your physician before applying any of these. So, again, first 48 to 72 hours, we're going to apply cold. 15 to 20 minutes. You can do that several times throughout the day. After the first 48 to 72 hours, when we go in that passive congestive phase, go ahead and utilize uh, some moist heat. And you could even do contrast therapy too, directed by your chiropractor or your physician. So I hope this uh, helps you out. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. And uh, we look forward to seeing you in the future. This is Dr. Jason Coleman, yours in health. We'll see you soon.